Hey everyone, today I'm gonna show you how to do this manicure with this lilac polish and these leaf stamping. First off, I'm gonna remove my previous polish. This is a encapsulated glitter in red. I'm gonna link it to the video where I did this manicure. And I'm using peel off base coat, which makes it easier to remove. So I'm just using the little pusher and then this, the polish already gets removed. For glitter polishes, I really like using this type of base coat because it makes the removal much easier. This oil that I'm using is just to make the removal easier and it already hydrates the cuticles. And I'm just being careful with the pusher to just remove the polish and not damage my nail below it. The polish I use is this lilac one from Brazilian brand Impala. It's called Link na Biodiversidade. In the stamping plate, I use Born Pretty Nature World L003. It has these leaf and plant designs. First off, like in my other videos, I'm gonna start using a precision brush to remove some oils and dirts from the nails. I'm just using it with acetone. This helps the polish to stay longer, uh, apply better. The base coat I'm using is also from Brazilian brand Impala. It's called Base dos Sonhos like dream base coat. It's supposedly a base coat to help with clear polishes. It helps to apply less streaky. I can't really tell if it works. I It worked well for this application, but I need to wear it a little more to be able to say for sure. I've heard some people that even use it under dark polishes to help with application. So I just need to test it more. And ironically, the application of the base coat is really streaky, so. That's kind of funny. And this is the polish. It's a gorgeous polish. I don't think the camera captures it really well, but it has some like blue shimmers on it that when the light catches it, you can see. It looks pretty basic, but it's actually really gorgeous. I use two coats for full coverage. And like in my other videos, I'm doing the first nail on normal speed. Just to show how things work in real life, how long it takes in real life, in the sped up parts or sped up times five. As I'm applying, I'm also coming in with the stick. This is to avoid the polish to be too dry, because otherwise it will pull the polish. I usually try to avoid getting in the cuticles and fingers, but this manicure, I wanted it to occupy the entire nail very well. So that's why I'm having to clean up a little more. And I'm just using a regular steel stick to do that cleanup. As I mentioned, I used two coats. For me, the coverage was really well on two coats, but for folks that want, I guess, a more opaque cover, it would probably take three coats, but I like it a little more delicate, a little more sheer, so for me, two coats was enough. For the rest of the cleanup, I use a precision brush as well with a little bit of acetone to clean the parts that stain the fingers. You can use the steel with a little cotton as well, but I personally prefer the brush. And I even pull my fingers with like my thumb to expose a little more of the finger and help with the cleanup.
And now I'm coming in with these fast drying drops. These are to dry the polish a bit faster. Since we're doing stamping, I think this is really important to not push the polish under it when we do the stamping. And to protect the, my fingers, I'm using liquid latex. I mentioned on my other stamping videos that this is an option to make cleanup easier, to avoid getting the fingers dirty. I personally like using tape, like sticky tape for the cleanup. I think it's much easier than the liquid latex. Liquid latex is kind of hard to apply. I think it looks kind of crusty after it applies. I have cats, you can see we have cat hair and everything in the video. It gets everywhere in the liquid latex. I'm very clumsy, so I always bump it against the other fingers on each other or on my desk. And then it peels off the, the liquid latex. Anyways, not my favorite. I don't think it's worth it. And this is the stamping plate I'm using, is the Barn Pretty one. I love these designs that are like leaves and plants. I have penny plates that are this same type of design. First off, we're gonna remove the protective cover, which is this blue sticker. I've seen people say, trying to use it with the sticker on, like you have to remove it, it's not gonna work with it. And one thing I like about the Barn Pretty plates is this like white part, which is like a protective a cardboard, like paper cover. I mentioned in other videos, this plates we have to be careful because they're thin metal, so it can slip and cut your fingers. But these ones have this protective outline and it doesn't have that risk of hurting your fingers. So I really like this about their plates. And it's a beautiful plate, beautiful designs. They have standalone designs and the entire nail designs. It's kind of half and half. I'm gonna use this one on my ring finger. I think it's gonna look good. And to start off, I have this white stamping polish by Cutting Boost Julia. It's a more opaque, more pigmented polish. That's why it's used for stamping. I'm also separating my scraper, my stamper, and my silicone mat to clean my scraper. Since I'm lazy, I'm already trying to do two designs at once. That's why I'm doing polish on both designs there. With the scraping, it depends on the type of plate you're using to check on how much pressure you have to apply for the scraping. This plate I'm using is very average. Uh, I can just not, you know, too much pressure, not too light. But if you have more shallow plates, you have to go in really light. It's a difficulty I have. I can't really do the lighter scraping, but this one I think works really well for me. And another thing, like since I was lazy and picked up two designs at once, one thing to be careful there is the second one dried off a little bit. So the application you can see was kind of pulling up a little bit. That's because the design was drier on the stamper. And to pick up the design, I like to say I bounce the stamper over it. It's not pressing it, it's not going back and forth. You have to go in really light to pick up the design. And on this video, I stamped all my nails, some with even more than one design. And I hope you enjoy this video of me just stamping all over. This is a beautiful plate. I think it looks really delicate with the white, really beautiful. A little more delicate than if I wore black and had a little more contrast. And that's it. I hope you enjoy this stamping compilation.
As I go, I'm also cleaning the scraper because it gets dirty with the polish and that can damage the further scraping. So that's why I'm cleaning in between. I also use the stick and a tweezer to help clean up some of the designs when they look too dry. Like on that design, didn't quite pick up, so the little part that was lifted, I picked up with the tweezers. And on others, I use the stick to kind of push down the designs. I'm really into this design is an entire nail design but it's just on the edges so it's kind of like a frame for the nail very beautiful very unusual I think for someone that has square tip nails it might look nice you can use this on the top of your nail since my nails are kind of almond shape I used it on the base of my nail so on the like cuticle but who has a square nail I think you can do it the other way around and it might look really nice. I just thought it was really cool, really different. And this is an example where I had to use the stick to push down a little the designs because it's kind of like half on my nail and half on my finger. If I left it like this, when I pull the liquid latex, it might pull the design as well and kind of like rip the design. So I'm kind of just separating what should be on my nail and what shouldn't, kind of pushing it down a little bit as well to make it a little nicer and make sure it wasn't going to mess it up when I remove the liquid latex. In these stamping sections, I like to show in real time because it's an activity where the time is really important, like the speed, when you apply, when you scrape, when you pick it up, when you stamp it. Those things are really time sensitive. The timing of it is really important, so that's why I keep it real time. I did speed up some further sections where the stamping really didn't work, but all the ones that worked, I kept it real time.
can show you guys there how it's the use of the liquid latex. So when you remove it, it kind of just peels off. But on my index finger there, it already looks kind of messed up. It was already like pulled off a little bit because I kind of bumped it against my desk. And those are the stamps that really didn't work, the stampings that didn't quite pick up. So that's why I sped up those parts. I like the liquid latex, but for gradients, when we do with the sponges, for things like stamping, I don't think it's really worth it. Cleaning with the tape is much easier. Another adjustment there with the stick and you can see like the entire cat I have on my nail worth of hair on the liquid latex. Again, another reason I don't like it. Maybe if I do one nail at a time would be best, but I already went in and removed it because I couldn't stand it anymore. It's so messy.
for cleanup, there was some parts where the liquid latex didn't catch the polish. So I'm going back in with the precision brush, a little bit of acetone. You can use remover, polish remover as well if you want. And just being really careful to not damage any of the designs. To finish off, I'm using my favorite top coat, which is Sasha Vite. I mention it in many videos, so you know when I'm using it is because I really like the manicure and I want to make sure it seals off nicely. I did leave the polish drying for a really long time because there was a lot of stamping on this video, so when I went in with the top coat, a lot of it was already dry, but I'm still being careful to not drag any of the designs with the top coat, so just going very light with it, very patiently applying it and cleaning off a little bit as I go with the stick as well. And this is what the final result looks like. I thought it looks so delicate, so cute. I love the polish. In, in real person, it's so beautiful with the blue shimmers. And I hope you liked it as well. Thank you for watching, and I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.